Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to another issue of Kelly having absolutely no organization to her vlogs whatsoever. But I do have a new tank top on and I should show you. This I'm, dang it. Okay, ready? Did you see that? It says Jeremy Scott Fitness on it. So Jeremy Scott is one of our uh, Fit Flunchal Ambassadors and one of the most awesome guys on the planet. And I have to tell you guys, I thought you could see my bra. You kinda can. There are these new Victoria's Secret um, sports bras that are really the bomb. And the cool thing about them, ladies, for those of us, again, this hair situation is bothering me. A lot of people are writing in thinking that I got my hair cut in a bob, but it's not, it's just layered. But it's, it's dividing into just, oh, I'll get it taken care of, you guys. I had her trim a lot of inches off last time, but I'm not liking how it's doing that. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, Victoria's Secret has some of the best sports bras out there. For those of you that are like me, that don't have any shortage of chest area situation going on, and of course it's for the small breasted as well. Victoria's Secret sports bras have killer, killer fun. See, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have really cute colors, like this is bright, oh, it actually matches, bright, um, yeah, uh, like mint green and whatever, who cares, just go look it up, they have a lot of great colors, but what I also like, and only the ladies will understand what I'm talking about here, is it doesn't create that uniboob thing, right, that most sports bras do, especially if you have bigger boobs, where they smush them all together, and then you put a tank top over it, and you're like, <laughs> you look down at yourself, and you're like, how did I end up with one boob? I mean, it actually makes you look normal. I just, sometimes I'm thinking, what in the world? I just, there's just too much. There's, there's too much down here. It's really annoying. That's, I'm one of the few people that's actually hoping as I lose weight that I will lose weight in my boobs again because there's just a lot going on there to deal with. And I know that I'm gonna get all you guys writing to me saying certain things and I'm just not even gonna quote that, but, um, it is a major hassle, okay? I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna get into it. I had to pick an outfit to wear on Saturday night and I, I had to reject three dresses because I was going to my niece's graduation dinner and you know, these were great dresses but then it's like, you know, I, I, I look like I'm going to like a porn star convention because I have so much to offer here that's, you know, it's like, how do you fit it in? It's difficult. Okay, so I inherited that from my mom. So yes, they are real. Anyway, people, let me focus. Um, happy Tuesday. So yes, it is Tuesday. And um, I just wanted to check in with you guys on like the diet situation, um, food situation, because one of the things that I have started to realize as I have um, kind of just branched forward or branched out, if you will, with all of this, bioidentical um, with the hormonal treatment. You know, I, you've been paying attention, hopefully, to some of the changes that I've made. And, you know, I mentioned in my last video, you know, I figured out that because I'm, I'm paying attention to all of these side effects that I have, you know, I kept thinking, I have headaches every day. Why do I have headaches every day? Well, guess what? Something simple as listening to someone said, maybe you should get yourself some reading glasses. And guess what? I got reading glasses. This is what I use when I'm on the computer, when I'm on my phone, when I'm reading magazines or books, and all of a sudden, I don't have headaches anymore. And I was attributing it to um, my hormones, you know, still thinking that something either new that I was taking or, Maybe I was thinking, oh, well, the treatment's gonna fix this. It must be hormonal. It wasn't in this case. But I'm also paying attention to um, you know, what I'm eating and what I'm consuming. Because like I mentioned before, I, I well, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Now I'm gonna be tempted. I actually am just thinking this right now as I'm shooting this video. I quit Splenda and Diet Soda because everybody had said, you know, Splenda is notorious for causing headaches and so is Diet Soda. And I'm not lying, <laughs> just as I got ready, ready to say that to you guys, my mind went, wait a minute, if I have these reading glasses, maybe I can go back to, <laughs> to having diet soda. And not that I necessarily want the Splenda. I have become a convert to Stevia, believe it or not. I've tried many, many brands of Stevia. To me, they all tasted disgusting, but the Now Food Stevia is bomb. 
okay? And I do occasionally use Truvia now too, but I'm a convert, so but <laughs> I would be lying to you if I told you that just as I'm shooting this and I said that out loud, I said the whole, oh, guess what? I don't have any headaches anymore. And I was getting ready to say, I've made these changes and I got rid of Splenda and I got rid of this. I'm also realizing, I specifically realized it this weekend, I had a piece of cake. So I had two different meals with um, a wheat, you know, some bread products, and then one I had a, um, a piece of cake. And I just felt so immediately nasty, um, bloated. I, I, I just, I could feel it physically in my body um, after eating this stuff that I'm beginning to realize the more I clean up my diet, and it's not specifically like I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna cut this out so it'll accelerate my weight loss. It's really more about I'm trying to have just an overall healthier way of eating, and it's also just as much about how I feel. Um, but again, as I have progressed, I'm realizing more and more it's getting easier. It's getting easier to not have certain things. And then when I go back, like I said, this weekend, I had some graduation cake and then I had some bread. Um, I met someone for dinner last night and Yikes. So I'm really gonna, I got out my cookbooks. Shoot, I left them over there. I got out my cookbooks like last night. I've been watching a lot of my Nigella Lawson DVDs because she has a lot of great recipes that aren't necessarily, you know, they're rather simple. One of them I'm really excited to make is um, shrimp with, she calls it like a, a spicy fish sauce on black rice. And I ordered the black rice and I mean, it just looks so amazing. It's simple. It has um, red chilies in the sauce and I think I'll put, I'll put up a link to it and I'll mention it and I'll actually get the recipe out so I can share it with you. But all that said, I wanted to let you guys know that what's starting to work for me is I'm finding that I'm just getting more and more real food oriented in, in what I'm eating. I'm finding that I'm going to try, I hesitate to use the word gluten free because it sounds like such a trend and it sounds like so many people do it because they think they'll lose weight. My goal is to find a, a way of eating that continues to make me feel better. If it contributes to me, um, as my hormones get straightened out, if it contributes to me losing weight as well, I'm absolutely fine with that. If it contributes to you know, fat loss, especially <laughs> around the middle where it's taking so long, um, it's working, guys. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm the single most impatient person on the planet. Then, then I'm fine with it, okay? So I'm gonna share with you some of the recipes, but you know, if you were to look, you might even be able to see a little bit back there on my, on my kitchen counter. I have a lot more fruit, a lot more vegetables. Um, I made something so simple for lunch today, but it was awesome. It was just cut up chicken. It was actually the leftover chicken breast from the meal I ordered at the restaurant last night. I measured it, and then I took um, some zucchini and some mushrooms and peppers, red peppers, and then some um, red onions, and I just sauteed that all, and I actually have half of it on the stove, so I'll probably have that for another meal because that's another thing I'm finding too. I tend to make my meals way too big. Like if I make a salad, I make it way too big, and even if it fits my macros, right, it, it still is too much, and I think that it's just, I need to get my head around the, the idea that um, I can still hit my macros, but kind of branch these out into maybe more equal small meals. I think what I was tending to do before was big meal for breakfast, little snack, big meal for lunch, little snack, whatever. And I would find myself so full from the big meals that I didn't want to have the snacks. And then I would get to the end of the day and I'm trying to kind of catch up and reach my macros. Then my tendency is going to be that I don't eat. And you guys, that's one of my number one problems. So I'm curious to hear from you. If you can leave me in the comments below, um, I'm curious to hear from you how many of you have found out just from more a feeling good and a health perspective, this is not specifically about weight loss, you know, how many of you guys, I put this up on Facebook, have gone gluten-free or wheat-free or you've cut out dairy or anything like that? What, what made a big change in how you feel? And hey, if it impacted your fitness goals and you, you lost weight or leaned out or whatever, I'm curious to hear that too. But I'm curious, just want to hear from all of you on what you're pursuing, what you've incorporated as far as changes in your diet and what was good and what was bad. Um, and also, let me know if any of you guys drink diet soda. I'm just curious on that one because you know I'm gonna press stop here and, and sit and pontificate about whether or not I'm gonna go back to diet soda. 
I know you'll all tell me not to, but I have literally, as easy as it's been for me to get rid of it, I do fantasize about Diet Mountain Dew every single day because it's the bomb, okay? And don't say that you don't agree with me. Subscribe below. I'll see you guys tomorrow.